Hi, this is Sai Morton with the daily update on Eurofix. I post my exclusive market overviews with the key political and economical events, charts and important levels on the forexpsami.com forums weekly. This short video is a response to rapidly changing situation on the currency markets and should help you to stay on top of the game and be profitable. I suggest you to visit forexpsami.com forum and read my analysis for the week before watching this daily video. Welcome everybody guys. Right now we'll take a look at your currency. So it really was the long time ago where we had taken a look at the euro currency in a, in a weekly research. So probably in the mid of the April. That was the last time. Uh, currently we see some bearish signs, some bearish patterns that are forming on the monthly chart, on the weekly chart. And uh, we expect that the medium term perspective within probably one, two months, maybe bit longer time it will take uh, we, we uh, think that your currency could show the, the drop down the major concern right now about uh, these signs is the scale is the strength of this drop so your currency could hold inside of this wide range as 105 115 area that stands more more than a year so that will, could become the minor drop and this could become just retracement down that will last for maybe one month more, maybe two months. Or as the ultimate uh, result, is a, some extreme result, this could lead to reversal down uh, and break out 105 area and moving to parity. So that this is the ultimate scale. So the most uh, the most bullish uh, var variant is uh, that market will show just some retracement inside of this whole swing up. The most bearish is that market will drop 105 area and take the march on parity. So currently the scale of this drop is un still unclear because there's too too many uh, variables that. Uh, impact on the current situation and major of them is the Fed policy. So it will depend what what Fed will say in the June and the July of what step it will take. So that will definitely will make an impact on the overall situation. The Brexit also will probably will impact but right now it seems that uh, analysis come to conclusion that uh, United Kingdom will stay in the European Union. So uh, that's why Currently, we will focus on minor targets of this possible downward action. We will not think yet on uh, some drastic reversal and drop into the parity. Uh, we will move the step by step. So currently, we will treat this action just as a retracement down. And we will try to estimate how deep this retracement could become. And uh, we will work with this uh, action right now as a retracement. Later, if, if suddenly market will drop below 1 or 9 major FIP support, it will break 1 or 8. In this case, yes, we probably will have to acknowledge that this is not just some retracement with a long-term upward action, but something greater. So probably could lead to the real drop down. Uh, so if this is just a retracement, as we will think by far, then we probably here stand in a stage of the shifting to a bigger scale. So that is some sort of the fractals. Take a look at this upward action, guys. It has started from the A, B, C bottom extension. Inside of this upward action, market has as an upward swings, as a downward swings of the sum scale. So since market was moved, moving up, it definitely has the upward action greater than the downward action right but right now market has completed already ultimate 1618 extension so this upward action is completed by the forming the D point this spike up and touching with the 1618 target so what, what does it mean it means that if we suggest that this is just a retracement in, and the bulls still here and market is still bullish then probably market right now stands in the stage of the 
shifting on the moving to the bigger scale action where this will become all this upward action will become some kind of the a b leg the first leg and here market should form some kind of the b c leg because market is complete once this one extension is retracement will be significant so market should form some kind of the b c leg and as a result of this b c leg we will see I have the market definitely is bullish and standing in upper direction if market will hold at some major FIP support area and will keep this upper direction. Or if it will drop below the 618 uh, FIB level, this probably will not become the turning to the bigger scale ABCD pattern, but this will become the reversal. So here we will see. But right now we are treating uh, this leg as retracement and we still think that market stands in long term upper direction. Now it's just time. Has come for a deep retracement. I hope this was not too sophisticated. Um, this is just how fractals works. When the market has completed uh, minor swings in one one direction and completed the target, it turns to the greater scale. When the, this uh, action becomes the, some kind of should, treat, should be treated as the one action, as one action, and that should become the second BC leg. So here we have this scale, this A B B C. Now it will become A B. And BC will be will be will start forming here. That's uh, how we will uh, treat currently the action on the euro currency. If BC leg will will, will turn on the wrong way on the wrong way with a breakout major support, and will show the too significant drop, then probably we'll start to think and talk on the possible reversal on the euro currency and greater bearish consequences for the market. So that's our uh, major idea here. Um, right now, as you can see, market has formed this first drop down, and here we have two major points to discuss. First one is the dropping below the monthly pivot support one. The fact that market has dropped below this level tells that market will get the downward continuation because this is not just minor retracement with a long trend, but this is something greater. This is typical for when the market turns to larger scale action. So this drop tells that we will get probably the continuation to the downside. So market will reach uh, some lower targets. Second, market has completed our first destination point. We said that if market will break this consolidation, it will, it will continue dropping. And the first area that probably will be able to stop it or to just get the market, give the market relief, and, and when it will take some pause, it will be the confidence support on the daily charts, 111.25, 111.90 area. It's rather wide area, but on the daily chart, it really seems as a confidence. Also, take a look that the market has touched the daily oversold. So, uh, following that logic, also take a look that the market has created the reversal swing. So the swing down right now is greater than the previous swing up. And usually when the market shows the reversal swing, it takes a ABC retracement before downward continuation. That is what we expect within the perspective of the two or three weeks on the over currency. First, we need to get the completion point of this move down. Then we should get some kind of the ABC retracement here. And after that, as we have just discussed, we expect some downward continuation. So we expect some kind of the ABCD action down on your currency. That's our trading plan for your currency for coming maybe one, two weeks. So right now, let's try to estimate the target, how far this AB, AB leg will drop. So, uh, if you will read our weekly research, you will see that um, anal analysis of the weekly harmonic swing suggests that market should, could reach an area approximately at 110.65. So, somewhere in this area, slightly lower than the uh, confidence support. On the intraday charts, guys, we approximately get the same uh, level because currently intraday charts are rather blank. So they do not show any significant patterns, something that could definitely point at the destination. But uh, following these patterns that we have, uh, they are not really very good. But still, this is only that we have. And that's, we, we, we have to make the 
conclusion based on the tools that uh, right now exist on the market. So if you will measure the extension of this most recent swing up, I have drawn it in the shape of the butterfly, but strictly speaking, this is not quite the butterfly since it, it has appeared at the top, but butterfly by can't appear on the top, just following the logic. Butterfly cell could appear at the top. But anyway, uh, it has the same destination. I know guys that you, that you like the butterflies. That's why I have drawn it. So uh, it points on the 111 even. So 127 extension stands 111 even of this uh, patron. Analysis of the hourly chart gives us just one tool. This is the harmonic swings only. We have nothing more. So you can see this section is very smooth. No real patterns were formed here. So just gradual, absolutely uh, not really attractive action. But in this downward action, your currency keeps harmonic swings very well. So take a look at who started after the initial drop. Move down. Here, the harmonic swing was a bit extended in time. But take a look at the top and then the bottom. They are keeps very well. Now drop down. All these lines are cloned. So they, they are equal slope and the distance. As well, move down. Very good harmonic swing. Retracement up. Equal to this one. In the term of the price changing, not the time. Time here is a bit longer. Again, move down. Now is retracement up. So this retracement shows that market should move slightly high, approximately to 12.50, 12.45 area approximately. And then another move down should follow. It points on the 10.90 area approximately. So as you can see, we have the combination of the different targets, extensions that point approximately on the same area. The weekly chart points on the 10.65, hourly 10.90, and four hour chart points on 111.1. So somewhere around 111, maybe slightly lower, because weekly chart, as you understand, is with a rather big scale. So the 20 pips is nothing for the weekly chart. Uh, but anyway, it, it also points on some area around it. So uh, following this logic, uh, we will probably should expect the finish point of this AB, AB leg somewhere around 111, 111 11190 probably. After that, we will start to watch for possible upside reversal patterns on the intraday charts, on the hourly chart. That could start the upward bounce. That is our trading plan for coming week on the euro currency.